No Olympic Games is complete without pin badges, and here at the entrance to the Olympic Park, newcomers and seasoned collectors alike are drawn in by the shiny mementos. We've been collecting for a lot of years since Barcelona, 92, and it's just a hobby, you know, we try to collect all the pins from London, and maybe the spare ones we will sell on eBay or something, but just for my collection, my personal collection. Officially, only swaps are allowed within the Olympic Park itself except at Coca-Cola's pin trading center where they can be bought for prices up to as much as 57 euros for rare specimens. In any case, for many collectors, it's not about money or even hoarding badges, but meeting new people. My friend here would have never walked up and sit down at this table if I was sitting here drinking a Coke by myself. She saw the pins and she came over to talk to me, just to trade. I mean, so it's really about the memories uh, and, and just the conversation. I met people from... Brazil, Portugal, I mean, all over the world, just from wearing this. It starts conversations everywhere, on the tube, in the mall, it doesn't matter where you are. Athletes themselves are thought to have started the pin swapping craze. And even those with gold medals around their necks admit they can't get enough of them. Usually for every Olympics I have a gold medal and then I have like, I want to put my pins like in a huge frame around the gold medal, so that's what I was going to, that's my whole method behind the madness of collecting pins for me at least. As London 2012 draws to a close, pin fans won't have long to boost their collections, though they'll be out in force again at Sochi 2014.